Traditional Eastern medicine has been based for many centuries on the vibrations and resonance of the body's water content. The pulse indicates if the resonance tone is right. It is believed that the pulse may be strong, weak, cold, or hot. On the basis of this, an experienced physician carries out a kind of energy scan of the body, makes a diagnosis, and prescribes treatment. <laughs> We do not heal with water, because a person, the human body, is water. In 1995, Dr. Emoto Masaru was the first one to record musical impressions on water. In Dr. Emoto Masaru's laboratory, they allowed water to listen to music, after which they flash froze the water. And then, under the microscope, they could clearly see the crystals that the water had formed. Here is what the music of Bach looks like. Mozart. Beethoven. Heavy rock. Somebody said, thank you to this water. Excuse me. You disgust me. Dr. Emoto has conducted another interesting experiment. He placed rice into three glass beakers and covered it with water. And then every day for a month, he said, thank you to one beaker. You're an idiot to the second. And the third one, he completely ignored. After one month, the rice that had been thanked began to ferment, giving off a strong, pleasant aroma. The rice in the second beaker turned black. And the rice that was ignored began to rot. With modern technology, it's possible to structurize water artificially. When seeds were grown under laboratory conditions using this kind of water, the soy sprouts had six times greater photon radiation than when ordinary water was used. Using structurized water makes vegetables ripen faster and increases the amount of useful microelements and vegetable protein several fold. If we look at the shoots, the treated ones were long, even and strong, while the untreated ones were short, thin and weak. If we look at the plants today, those from the selected seeds have all ripened, but the ones from non-selected seeds have not. We have to say that using structurized water really does affect the growth of vegetables and fruits. For purposes of irrigation, 20% less of this type of water is needed than when using ordinary water. No fertilizer was added to the soil or the water. The chemical composition remained the same, H2O. The only thing changed was its structure. At the present time, scientists can answer the question of how this happens, but science does not yet have an answer to the question of why. In the language of the Pemon Indian tribe in Venezuela, Roraima is translated as the mother of all waters. A group of Russian biophysicists set out for this destination in January 2005 to collect a unique sample of water, which scientists say has never been in direct contact with human beings. Such water exists in only one place on Earth, in Venezuela. It's 
a really remote place, very hard to get to. Three days of travel through the savanna, and then the jungles. Then you climb an 800-meter wall. It takes a certain amount of enthusiasm. Therefore, we can say that the water we have there is in a unique virgin state. So today is January 30th, 2005. Water collection number 16. Then we shall pack it all up in foil. And in this form, this water will hold its energy for several days with the air of these places. Then we'll arrive in St. Petersburg and we'll calmly carry out in our laboratory analysis several thousand kilometers away and only then will we be able to draw any conclusions. Professor Korotkov's laboratory has developed an instrument that can determine the energetics of water. It works on the basis of the Kirlian effect. Everything that enters a strong electromagnetic field begins to emit light. The greater energy the object possesses, the brighter it shines. The water from Venezuela was compared with ordinary drinking water. We can say that this water is not double, not triple, but 40,000 times more active. So these are really two fundamentally different substances. And water of this type, this water which immediately activates the body, it activates the whole system. Nowhere in the world is the water the same. Breaking its way to the surface, through minerals and ores, water assimilates the vibrations of the soil and information about its specific biological and energetical features. We tested this absolutely marvelous water, which is sold in large bottles, and the producer puts a label on them which says, it's the best water in the world, but it is empty and dead. True, it's pure and it's good, and some minerals have been added, but this is dead water in which there is no energetics and there is no life. Most likely, people do not sense any particular difference between naturally pure and artificially purified water. But any animal will always choose water from a spring, because this water is loaded with natural energies. 